It is pretty much all of December. Talk about that in just a little bit, but look at our sky cams all across it and looking a little hazy as we take a view inland where we do have some patchy fog still sitting around portions of the Treasure Coast this morning, but out towards the Atlantic. Beautiful start sunrise a little after 7.05 a.m. And there's that fog I mentioned. We still have some foggy conditions for Indian Town, Okeechobee. Visibility reduced to zero, so very difficult to see on the roads this morning. Of course, if you're heading out so early, use those low beams, but we do have better conditions from West Palm down south towards Boca Raton. Most of Palm Beach County looking great this morning. We do have so that denser fog along Belle Glade, western half of the state, Lee County all the way down to Collier, even portions of Charlotte County seeing some of that fog this morning. Temperatures otherwise were ranging from the upper 60s to the low 60s for most of our coastal areas along Palm Beach County and then of course the 50s. So another cool brisk start there for Okeechobee County all the way towards the Treasure Coast. So if you're heading out early, maybe that light jacket to start you off, but later in the day today with the sunshine and of course that wind coming in from the east it's going to feel beautiful outside so we're going to warm up very quickly temperatures right around the mid 70s to upper 70s heading towards the lunch hour and then after that we're looking at the 80s this afternoon plenty of sunshine we have high pressure dominating our weather pattern today it's going to keep any rain from developing it's going to keep a lot of those clouds also out of the picture heading towards your evening also looking phenomenal temperatures will dip down to the mid 70s and then low 70s so it's nice and cool and also very comfortable if you have plans to eat outdoors or if you're going for that later walk today a very beautiful day all around so here's what we have going on we do have high pressure as i mentioned still in control and that's what's pretty much going to keep temperatures still also well above average we're talking throughout the end of the year but as you can see we've had very warm conditions all throughout december average high 75 and pretty much the entire month so far we've only had two days with temperatures at and below average so that warm streak will continue high pressure giving us that beautiful wind today out of the northeast and then eventually an east wind but i've noticed when it's over the state of florida sink air is going to keep a lot of those clouds out of the picture but eventually it does break down so for Tuesday could see a little bit more cloud coverage here across South Florida but then we start to warm up once again it's going to be back into the mid 80s and those upper 80s will continue throughout the remainder of the week into the new year now not much significant rain is expected here across South Florida although we are going to notice an increase in the humidity levels you're going to notice temperatures feeling a lot warmer than what they actually are later on in the afternoon hours but here's the catch Finally, by the new year, we're talking after Sunday, Monday, that'll be our next cold front, and this is going to help draw in some drier air and help our temperatures return to a normal for this time of the year. So something to look forward to if you like the cooler weather, and of course, if you like the warm weather, you got that going on this week. 80s, a lot of sunshine in the forecast as soon as that fog does clear out, and then for your evening into the overnight hours, we'll be in mostly in the 70s and then the 60s, a few 50s for the inland portions, but some patchy fog can develop once again to start you off for your morning. Beautiful beach weather ahead Monday all the way through the end of the week but notice again temperatures running warm mid to upper 80s return to South Florida and then a cool down finally by next week as we start off 2022 that's your first one forecast something to look forward to